I've got my good hat on today. Yeah. See, I put my good one, but my good one's starting to get a hole in yeah. it too. But uh, that's for more airflow. <laughs> so, anyways, I am here today to show you our first Colorado potato beetle larva that uh, we have plagued with in the past. You know, usually we haven't had any this year. And I found one. So it's right here. I'm going to show you what they look like. And I'm going to squish it. It's not for the faint of heart. That is the larvas that you're... Because I've had some comments. You know, what are they? What are they doing? You know, what do they look like? So uh, these little larvae uh, things here are the... Uh, they will just gobble your potato plants. And uh, normally you'll see them all over. This is rare to see just one. But uh, anyways, you know, all I do... He's about to die and just squish. I just squish them. And, you know, their guts, let me tell you something. If it ever squirts in your eye, you're going to know it because it really stings. But the chickens won't eat these things. Uh, so they must have a horrible alkaloid or something taste to them. But I, I was squishing them out in the farm one day, and <laughs> it's kind of gross, I guess, but it squirted up in my eye. And, well, did it ever sting? But that's all I do. Some people like to go along with a bucket with some soap water. And uh, But these are the joys and the fun of organic farming. And it allows me to go out and physically get a hold of the enemy that's eating my potato crops, like picking weeds. <laughs> so, anyways, but I'm just showing you. Though, and uh, if that's if you see those things, get rid of them. And if I could, like I don't know, there's only one, right? We haven't had very many this year. But I'm. Do you just, see any eggs? Well, that's what I'm looking to see. Like, see some eggs. But uh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't see any. You know. Anyways, what you are going to look for, there will be pictures. If I can find a picture that's in public domain, I will put it in this video, actually, and show you what the eggs look like. And uh, these are the expensive potatoes that we got. These are the... Um, the all reds. The all red, yeah, that are red on the inside. And uh, so, anyways, in the meantime, I'm just staking the potatoes, or tomatoes up. And... Uh, even though I have the cages, these things don't seem to be strong enough. The uh, the wind kind of comes through here and blows them over, so I'm staking them up. Yeah, uh, even the weight of just the plants pulls them over. Yeah. The plants show them some of the potatoes. The plants get about six feet tall, at least, and the cages are only about two and a half. Hmm? Oh, they're farther down, but this is a nice little pepper plant that I unburied yesterday. It was hiding in the weeds. A few more here. These ones are jalapeno peppers. Now. I think they're this way down here. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, here they are. There's a bunch up in these plants here too. So there they go. They're starting. We're going to actually be selling lots of tomatoes because I know we're going to have tons of them. We still have our greenhouse and they're going to bell moth. So uh, I'm just going to get my stand built soon. I've had a couple of people say they were going to buy more. from me. But bunch more in here too. 